Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Stew. This is Liam. We've got some Smiths playing in the background. Going to talk to you a little bit about repacks. I know it's been a topic of conversation on a lot of channels. I know a lot of people have covered it. Uh, but we're probably going to talk about it a few times here and there. Um, and you'll find out my reasoning as we go. So, uh, my outlook on repacks, a lot of people have a very negative outlook and you can get kind of negative vibes um, when you're looking at some of the listings and things like that, uh, you know, okay, so I'm going to be one of, uh, you know, 8,000 people buying these repacks and what are my odds of getting that black Lotus that you have advertised, you know? So the, th so I, th I feel like the three things that you look at are what are your odds of getting something good? Um, uh, are you just looking to blow some money and do something fun in which case, Hey, do whatever, you know? Um, or are you looking to use the repacks uh, as a drafting tool for games with your friends? Uh, which obviously, as long as it's worth the cost, by all means, do it. So Magic Stew is going to be selling some repacks on eBay to raise money for the channel so that we can buy more product to open and so that we can bring some other cool things to you guys and gals. Sorry about my editing. I know I'm chopping up Sisters of Mercy now, and that's a terrible thing to do. But this is completely unrehearsed. So <laughs> I think during this video, we're going to have a lot of cat action between Riku and Chio in this chair behind me, which is fine because I don't think you guys have seen Chio yet unless he was behind me during the uh, initial beginning of my recording today. So anyway, back to talk about repacks. I've got something coming up that I think is going to be really cool to raise money for the channel. I'm going to put it on eBay. If people buy the repacks, I will probably send some kind of drawing information or something like that, similar to the one that you're going to see us do live on the 13th. If you've purchased anything from us on eBay or TCG Player over the last week or two, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, I decided on repacks because I felt like it was potentially a little bit better way to raise money than just selling singles. Which doesn't mean that I'm out to scam people. I care very much about our viewers and about the Magic community. I think repacks are fun. I've bought a few myself in the past. And I'm not doing like thousands of them. You know, it's going to be a limited amount, like a hundred. Uh, and the amount of cards that are good cards in there should be worthwhile. Uh, the odds should be fairly decent. So. I asked a couple of people who sell repacks on eBay and who had been doing so for a long time and who had a lot of sales under the belt if they would mind giving me some advice. Uh, one in particular, and I apologize if I butcher your name, I think I've got it right, but uh, Vasily Miguel, I comment if I got you wrong, I apologize, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Vasily and I talked for a while a few days ago and he gave me a lot of really good advice and uh, helped me out quite a bit. So I tremendously appreciate that. Uh, in the meantime, I did purchase some repacks from him. And as a promotional tool for his eBay store, he sent me some extras. Now, I wanted to make it very clear that I did not want curated packs. And he assures me that these are random. I don't want it to look like there's any kind of collusion here. You know, I don't want to open like a, a mox and somebody say, oh my god, that's rigged, okay, that shouldn't happen, all right, um, he tells me that this is completely random, um, he seems like a really trustworthy guy, I'm going to put a link in the comments section, I highly recommend that if you want to buy repacks currently, check his store out, you know, um, top-notch dude, so thank you, Vasily, uh, let's, let's crack these open. I'll tell you what, he does a hell of a good job taping this. Where the heck is the lip? Do I already have it? Here we are. We are professionals here. It's 
speaking of professionals, when it comes to opening things, I'll tell you what, Owen, at three years old, his Christmas game has definitely stepped up a notch. Now, instead of just staring at the box going, he goes, he does like this little picking at thing, takes a little bit of wrapping paper and drops it, takes a little bit of wrapping paper and drops it. I figure by like four or five, he's just going to be like, psh, 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 done, you know, which I obviously can't do. All right, so what we've got here, actually, it's packaged really nicely. Um, all right, so let's see. We've got, now he does give his phone number. Uh, it is on his eBay page, so I don't feel at all bad if you guys catch that off of here. It's not intentional, but it's not a bad thing either. Let's see what we've got. All right. So the invoice for the ones that I purchased. All right. So we have this. It's different from the rest. These are different from the rest. All right. Let's start here. We've got the Magic the Gathering. What is this? Five card? It's the dollar repack lots. So, that would be these. I purchased... 25 and one thing I've noticed about people who do repacks they always throw in some extras which is awesome I'm not honestly sure if he threw in extras because of the auction or because he's sending me stuff for promotional stuff anyway um, not sure but regardless thank you gotta hope I don't just cut a card Well, these are packed tight. And his store on eBay is called MTG is Might, which I think is pretty cool because it kind of reminds me of the uh, EverQuest Guild that I ran for years. Shout out to Gathered Might. If anybody that was ever in Gathered Might is watching, leave a comment. It'd be, it'd be awesome to hear from you. Let's see what we got here. We got a bunch of commons. Horned Turtle, Retromancer, Water Courser, Fester Gloom, and Harvester Alcids. All right. So what I'll probably do here, rather than go through every single card, is if there's a really cool card in here, I'll just kind of, I'll let you know. All commons. Some white bordered stuff. Solidarity. Oop. Here's a Merfolk Seer from Mirage. Here's a rare, Eldritch Moon, Permeating Mass. All right. Ooh. Here's one from uh, Ice Age. Gosh. This takes me back a long time. <laughs> Soul Kiss from Ice Age. Very cool. Haunted Ghoul, something from my zombie collection. Awesome.
Oh gosh, we're going back again. Homelands, that awesome, awesome set. We've got a trade caravan. So, so far, based on this particular pack, it looks like these are the dollar packs, which, I mean, what do you want from dollar packs? Got another Mirage here, Wall of Roots. Another Homelands, we've got a Cemetery Gate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, mostly commons. Original Zendikar, Treasure Hunt. Uh, let's see here. Actually, there's a, a lot of uh, Mirage and Homeland, Sleeping Lizard, Armorer Guild Mage, Scars of Meriden, uh, Golem Foundry, M15 Uncommon, Geist of the Moors. Now this one's gold. I don't recognize the set symbol. Uh, rare, I mean not gold, um, well gold symbol. Uh, Riptide Director from, I don't know, is this one of the Versus sets? There was a big gap, a big gap in time where I wasn't playing, so some of these are going to be a little bit foreign to me. Sixth edition uh, dry spell. Zendikar Uncommon, Quest for Renewal. I'm going to try to speed this up, guys. I don't want to be doing this for half an hour. But it is kind of fun. Um, alliances, Gorilla Berserkers. Ooh, the Catacomb Slug, because we all love the Catacomb Slug, right? Oh, I recognize the set symbol, but I wasn't playing during that period of time, so I, I'm not sure what it is. We've got a Nature's Kiss. Sixth edition Drudge Skeletons. All right. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to pull that label off of this one. That was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Oh, here we go. M14. A Johnny, Caller of the Pride. Gaunti's Aetherheart. So we've got two Mythics in one pack. I don't know about a Johnny. Um, you know, Gaunti's Aetherheart obviously isn't worth a lot, but again, dollar repacks, what what do you want from it? You know, it's fun. And a rare. Faded Retribution. So two mythics and a rare in one pack, that's pretty cool. Time spiral, I think. It's a common root root grievel. Here's a rare cryptoplasm. couple things here. Maybe I'm mistaken, but wasn't Ice Age... No, Ice Age was kind of a white snowflake with a black around it, wasn't it? I know I had one in here. That's okay. But check this out. Check out the cut on this. This is, uh, this is t totally off-center. 
don't know if you guys can see that or if it's blurry on the screen, but there we are. Just checking to make sure that that thing's still uh, on and in focus. Um, Zendikar Uncommon, Urge to Feed. Oop. Urge to get away from the stack, too. We've got another Ice Age in here. Death Ward. I don't know if you can hear the stampeding little feet, but that's the... Uh, the cats chasing each other. It's a very faded border on this. Uh, I'm not even sure what set this is. Hand of Justice? I recognize the card. I recognize the set symbol. But again, I wasn't playing during that period of time. Here's a rare, Head Games. Eighth edition maggot carrier. Man, alliances, Kaldorian. That's hard to read. Kaldorian escort. Oh, here we have Mercadian masks. The horned troll. Homeland's Ambush Party. Pacifism from Mirage. Dirtwater Wraith from Mirage. This is such cool artwork. Perish the Thought. Very cool. Ah. We have the Knight of Valor. Here's a rare Phantom Nantuko. We have a rare Megatog. A lot of commons in here that I'm just not really showing because, uh, I mean, you guys have seen them in everything. <laughs> here we go. Oh, man. Once again, we're going back to around the time that I was originally playing. We have the Grizzled Wolverine from Ice Age. Mirage Ebony Charm. I didn't even count these. I'm not sure how many dollar repacks there were. We have the 7th edition Serpent Warrior. How'd you like to wake up in the morning next to her? Yeah. <laughs> Homeland's Giant Albatross. I'm 
There's a slightly worn Mirage Jungle Worm. One of the uh, Kamigawa set. It's a common, I suppose, uh, Skullmane Baku. Oh, here's some cool art. Frightcrawler. Fairly damaged, but uh, rare uh, tomb fire. Fairly damaged because it's just bent pretty badly. I don't know if you can tell it's it's warped pretty good up here. Not a big deal. There's some more uh, sixth edition drudge skeletons. Those are only exciting to me because Drudge Skeletons were a part of the game when I started, you know. I can be kind of sentimental. <laughs> Time Spiral, Primal Growth. She's pretty cool. I really hope that it focuses on the card when I put them up there like that. Oh, here we go. This one's cool. I like this one a lot. Desolation Angel. Very cool artwork. Hmm. A couple more to go before we move on to the $2 repacks. We have a Welding Jar. Morgue Toad. And nothing of note. Sixth edition Storm Crow. Because Storm Crow is the best card. Let's see how many packs I did end up getting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. All right, so I bought 25, and uh, Vasily sent me 34. Thank you. Uh, I'm not sure if some of that, I, I don't recall the uh, details of the auction. Uh, I, there were probably some bonus ones included. He might have thrown in a couple extras just because, uh, because we were going to be making this video. So, again, thanks, bud. Next up, Guaranteed Rare six-card repack. These are $2 a piece on MTG as might on eBay. Let's see. Ninth edition, Greater Good. A Mirage Merfolk Seer. And another rare, we have a Sleeper Agent. Very nice. Oh, here we go. You had to do this to me, Vasily. You had to do this to me. You knew that I was going to have to try to say this on, on, on the camera, didn't you? All right. I'm going to do my best. It is a... <laughs> yeah... So, we've got the um, Shadows Over Innistrad Triskaidakaphobia, Philadelphia.
Hey, nice. Just in time for for this next card, we have Pandora playing Bauhaus, Bela Lugosi's Dead. Just in time for our vampire assassin, Dark Imposter. That was a The Hunger reference. Okay, anyway. Old school. Now we've got some more Scars of Mirrod in common, Vault Skyward. Another Mirage, Goblin Elite Infantry. It's another one from that set that I can't identify the symbol. It's a uh, Sunstrike Legionnaire. Oh, this is cool. Aura Flux. That's a very cool card. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we've got two brute strengths here. <laughs> I'm sure it happens. One more. Psychic Intrusion. Choking Vines, that's pretty cool. All right, that is everything for the $2 six card guaranteed rare repacks. And then we have one Guaranteed Planeswalker, 20 cards, one Mythic, two Rares. That's a $9.99 repack. Now all of these do have free shipping. Hopefully I can do this without slicing and dicing the card. There we are. All right, this one's got the Planeswalker, so let's hold off. We'll do that last. White Border, 7th edition, Lightning Elemental. Kithkin Armor. We've got a rare here, Grave Spawn Sovereign. Uncommon from Zendikar, Deathforge Shaman. Mirage, Sapphire Charm, that is a cool looking card. Actually, that would be a cool looking tattoo. Does anybody have this? Do any of you guys have a have this as a tattoo? I'm going to get it like right now. I'll probably just get it on my butt right next to Elvis. That pack was all commons. All right, now. We've got a Nissa Voice of Zendikar. Another Psychic Intrusion. Eighth edition rare, Vizardrix. M15, Soul of Theros. And we've got a uncommon Fleeting Avon. Very cool stuff. That's MTG is Might on eBay. I do have a couple of other repack purchases that I've made on their way to me uh, that I'll probably open in another video. This one is special because Vasily and I had a, a long discussion about it and, uh, and he asked that I show some of his cards on the channel. Gladly. If you guys ever have anything that you want me to plug on the channel, I can't guarantee that I will definitely do it, but shoot me a message or, or drop a comment or something like that. Send us an email. I'll put the email address up on the screen right about now-ish. Hey, thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun. These were really cool repacks. 
I absolutely love doing openings for you guys. I really hope that you enjoy it. Do me a favor, please, and if you haven't already, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. And folks, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We've got more draft boot camp coming. We've got more box openings coming. We're going to have some more gameplay videos and we're going to have more deck techs coming up soon, especially with Rivals of Ixalan coming out. Mash those buttons for me. I promise you will not be disappointed.